It was meant to be a routine ceremony for New Reverts in Meadow Heights Mosque, Melbourne, Australia. Except that there was something unusual that day. The mosque, this time, was booming with smiles from 30 sisters adorned with a hijab. Their certificates in front of them as they enthusiastically recited the Shahada after the Imam. In a video posted by Turkish news site Yeni Safak and has been shared across multiple social media channels, 30 Australian women were welcome to Islam at this mosque in Melbourne, Australia. It wouldn't take a keen observer to notice the joy on the faces of these women as they gracefully partake in a process that is not quite common in their society yet. They were happy to be outliers who would, in turn, influence others to follow similar paths. In one of our previous videos, we brought you the stories of how Western women are converting to Islam. The truth is, we barely scratched the surface, and recent events have confirmed that. There are several such cases all over the Western world, with some not even making it to the internet at all. This one such case, and it is happening in far away Australia. You would agree that this has been a recurrent trend recently as more and more Western ladies choose to identify with Islam and the Palestinian people in their current travails. Although Islam has been on a consistent growth trajectory in Australia since the turn of the millennium, the population of Muslims in Australia is expected to reach a milestone of 1 million on or before 2026, with the current figure hovering around 900,000. Should news like this continue to come out of Australia, then we are sure to reach that milestone far earlier than expected. Ask how she feels about taking this crucial step. One of the new Muslims, Jacqueline Redzak, said she has been feeling very happy and at peace since she decided to revert two weeks prior. On why she decided to become a Muslim, she admitted it was because of the events unfolding in Palestine and because she wanted to be closer to Allah through Islam. Uh, so I've been feeling very happy, a lot of peace since I reverted two weeks ago. Uh, I reverted because of what's happening in Gaza and I wanted to be closer to Islam and Allah. On her part, Christine Kernogorak highlighted that the lack of confusion on who God is vis-a-vis -vis the belief in only one God resonated with her about Islam in addition to the motivation she got from the plight of the Palestinian people. Not knowing which one. And, uh, the idea of Islam and having just one God that really resonated with me. It touched my heart. And, uh, the issues in Palestine, it, it just makes me cry on a daily basis. I, I don't know what else to say. If questioned, the 30 people who took the step to become Muslims may have unique reasons why they chose to become Muslims, while some may share a common factor, just like Jacqueline and Christine. However, what is certain is that these women have taken a bold step to become Muslims, and they have been deeply influenced by the compassion they have for their fellow humans in faraway Palestine.